Hello there, no hat today for the first time because I'm recording this on Saturday, Saturday morning. It's WrestleMania weekend, so I'm off to WrestleMania. I'm hoping to get WrestleMania cap uh, that I can put on later on tonight. But before that, I'm going to a couple of things that are not my bucket list, but things that I was interested in doing when I visited, uh, visited Los Angeles. So I thought, hey, let's, let's do these things. First one, aquarium of the Pacific. I like aquariums, apparently this one's really good. I'm gonna go and see it now. And then, Battleship Iowa. It's a battleship, it's a warship that was in World War II, and it's a museum now. We have one of those in the UK as well, HMS Belfast, it's next to London Bridge. It's sitting there. They got their own version here, Battleship Iowa. I like learning about, you know, military weapons, especially in World War II, so like, it'll be a good thing to check out. So yeah, that's the vlog, and it'll be up, I don't know, at some point later in the week, because I'm gonna focus on wrestling vlogs, but this will, this will be up at some point. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing it when you're seeing it. All right, let's go. Opens, I mean, it's behind me there. It opens at nine. My bookings are 9.15. It's 8.19. I'm over an hour, less than an hour, like just under an hour early, too early. I avoided the LA traffic, to be fair, but uh, now I'm just like, right. They open at nine, so what do I do? <laughs> There's public restrooms, and none of the food places are open. What do I do? You get to the mania, WrestleMania as soon as the gates open. I want to get in, take in the view before actually, you know, way before the event actually happens. So, uh, yeah, the earliest possible time the gates are open. I want to be there. So, uh, but I have enough time though. I don't have enough time. I think there'll be like two o'clock anyway, two or three o'clock. Oh, I've got so much time, man. <laughs> Not a bad place to be. Hello, well, mate. You're a big fella, aren't you? Find some of Nemo's friends here. Can't actually see Nemo though. Guess you gotta find him. Look at that. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? I just want to say hi. I mean, he was curled up in a ball okay, against the window when I came. When I started recording, then he then just moved away. Be a she, to be fair. <laughs> there you go. In a ball again. The question is, is he alive? Like, what's he doing? What's he waiting for? What are they waiting for? Is the train they delayed? What's going on? What about you, mate? You waiting for your flight? What on earth is that alive? What on earth is that? That's something out of Stranger Things, bro. What on earth? Yeah, these, this is the horror movie uh, section, clearly. It's, it's freaky the way that they just don't move. Now, like, seriously, you just move. Move so I can, you know. See, that's normal, that's a starfish. Like, you expect them to do that. Not you. You, yes, you know. We found Nemo and his dad. That's a big W. Assuming they can camouflage because I can't bloody see it anywhere. What's he to do? The camera does it justice with that. Those last ones were so small. They were like, like thumb, like small, smaller than my thumb. They were like, they were like in, top of the index finger small. Tiny little frogs. I didn't realize they were that long, the, uh, the stingers. You better not be the one that took Steve Irwin, mate. I'd love to see one in real life. I'd love to. That's the one thing I wanted to do in California I don't get to do. 
you have to come in the summer in the summer there's blue whales off the coast and there's like two ports you can take boat tours from to like see them come up from the sea apparently it's the best place in the world to see them from but wrong season wrong season but there's other places in the world to see it anyway i don't need to come out here again to see it but um you can see a blue whale in real per in real life in california which i thought was pretty cool <laughs> Going under there. <laughs> These fellas don't like taking photos clearly, which is fair enough. <laughs> See if I can get them. That's not a bad shot. Shark for good. What on earth is that? My guess is that's fine. It's a large plunger. We have plunger on the way. They have plaques here as well. What are they waiting for? Green light. Go on, lads. Let's go. Traffic light is green. What are you waiting for? You, you, you can't just stand there all day. See, these guys don't know what's up. They don't know how to move. The Nemo prequel. The camera makes them, they look bigger on camera. They're actually like really tiny. Like really tiny. There wasn't too much in there. There were some cool things, some unique things, and I liked some of the things I saw, but like it wasn't, it didn't amaze me. I thought this would be like a crazy aquarium. Not really. Not really, it was just it was just alright. It's 9.47, so in 47 minutes I've gone through every animal. Obviously there's like shows and theatre like experiences and stuff that I'm sure are cool. But yeah, it was just alright. I didn't love it. That's clever. That's really clever. We are out to this nice view and it's nice and warm now. When I first came to California it was windy at night especially, but even in the daytime wasn't that hot. But now it's nice, so uh, that's good. This aquarium does actually do a whale tour. They do a whale tour, uh, but it's not the right season. You, you can still see like other whales. There's plenty of other types of whales you can see here. There's so many species of whales in this ocean. It's quite cool, but the blue whales specifically, that's what I want to see, but you can't see them here, unfortunately. But uh, I assume they got a boat cruise somewhere there. I think at midday it leaves. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get an Uber to uh, the battleship it is battleship is open in like five minutes and it's like 10 minutes away from here so it's just a case of the uber being uh on time i mean the ship closes at six anyway it's not like i'm in a rush i don't have a timed entry but you know if i get there early less of a crowd get in then i can find somewhere to eat and then head off to wrestlemania wow that's cool an Arsenal fan. He's in a very nice red Arsenal hoodie. Don't want to film him because it was his family. But uh, yeah, let me just uh, get a quick shot of this before I properly go into, onto the ship. Look at it. It's truly magnificent. It's huge as well. It's bigger than our one in London. My word, it's a rare sighting. A yellow taxi outside of an airport. The streets of LA, Hollywood, downtown, wherever you go, you, you never see yellow taxi. Like it's, they're non-existent. I, saw, I think I saw one at, at, at near Venice Beach and I've seen one here and obviously they're at the airport as well like the, it's like they're not necessary anymore <laughs> Uber's just running out of business I just look at the sight of this magnificent beast thing this is crazy like this could be the thumbnail actually look at that that's <laughs> that's incredible man it's a 
great view as well. Nice little area for the ship to be in. The museums in a bit more of a quiet place, a lot more of a quiet place. The one in England we have, it's on the River Thames next to London Bridge, a high tourist area. There's, there's just a warship just sitting there on River Thames next to the tallest tower in Western Europe. <laughs> big, no, big Ben is a bit further off, but like London Bridge is actually like next to the museum. It's not subtle at all. This one's a bit more subtle where it is. Is this a torpedo? 16 inch gun turret, general range, but 2,000 tons of firepower. Okay. Oh, that's a torpedo. All right, let's see. We've got the Scotland flag there. That's interesting. Uh, there's a checkered flag. Um, maybe there's some sort of race. What's that? Is that Malta? Or is that like, looks like a classic Game of Thrones flag. Well, not just Game of Thrones, just like old age uh, flag. Game of Thrones is fictional, but you, you get the point. <laughs> old fashioned style flag. Um, yeah, I'm lost on the rest. At first I thought that was China, but there's no yellow there, it's just red. Okay, interesting. So I, I only guess Scotland, and that doesn't count because everyone knows it's a checkered flag. It really puts into perspective how big it is when you actually see it in person. <laughs> it, it, it always looks bigger in person, especially a thing like this. Apart from tanks, I went inside a tank, like I said, like when I was in, like I think I was like 14. That was, the tanks are really small on the inside like really small there's like space for like two people it's, it's smaller than <laughs> it's, it's smaller than like a little closet it's crazy it's like how do how do people who drive tanks survive in there it must be so hot about to go in apparently we get to go seven levels down which is really cool this this costs 16 pounds what a price I assume this is like a food area you guys know i'm short right that's like close to touching my head i can walk through but like this is where being six foot is a disadvantage. You see, ladies, it's not always a bad thing. Always the best thing being ever six foot. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That's crazy. Officer's galley. Yeah, these are the ones that are off catch. Army. Crazy. Is that a sword? Who's been here, Captain Jack Sparrow? Must have been crazy living here in a war zone, or like out at out at sea against and you know enemy territory. It's been terrifying. There was another ship that was uh, it was delivering uh, materials for the Hiroshima bomb. Um, a Japanese, I think it's a Japanese U-boat, um, sunk it, and. The survivors, they were ambushed by sharks because there was so much blood in the sea from already all the, all the people that they already lost. So for a whole week, they were tor tormented by sharks until they were rescued. Like people didn't, didn't even know they sunk until like a while later. It's, it's crazy. It's not this ship, but obviously it sank. It's a crazy story to read about, you know. It wasn't just the enemy that was a, a threat in the uh, outer sea in the war. Gunpowder canister hatch. Interesting. Lieutenant Marvin D. Norton Jr. helps blast Japanese ships off Cerro. A lot of history here. We got nice sunny daylight. It's a nice breeze and the right temperature. Ah, oh, this is the perfect temperature actually. So I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna film my lap go up there. It's quite steep, even steeper than I actually already looked. It's crazy. The wood is bearing out a bit, you know, it's wearing out, sorry, bearing out. Why does that look like a snake? It's not, but it looks like it. Um, there's a nice neighbourhood over there. They got a good view, they, they can see two huge cruise ships and a battleship. Wow, and, and they got water. There's a lot of people here, by the way. Was, <laughs> we got to there and it took like 10 minutes to get to the destination. Speedboat, give us a wave. Speedboat, speedboat, give us a wave. Give 
us a wave. Sailboat, sailboat, give us a wave. Why is that a danger area? What, what's specific about that little area? Just tight spaces in there. Imagine having to run around in like a war zone being shot at. Oh wow. Unreal. Oh, there's a turret up there. I didn't even see that. I think the danger area was from like there to where I was was the danger area. You're still allowed there. There's arrows pointing you this way. There's a tour a guide. Basically, there's yellow arrows all over the place. Tell you where to go. So you're allowed in there, but yeah, it's just marked as like the danger area if you're in a war zone, I guess. Damn. That staircase. So glad it's not crowded today. You know what that sounds like, right? You know what that sounds like. <laughs> Whatever it was, it's putting on a show. It started like a simulator experience. Like I'm in a warship and I hear a plane. Like that sounds exactly like a plane in a war movie. I, I, I've watched a lot of war movies in my life, right? That sounds exactly like in the movies. I was just like, what's going on? Do I take cover? I'm in cover. Uh, we're right next to the big guns. Imagine what gets fired out of there. Something. Massive. This cost half the amount of the, of the aquarium admission price. And I got more out of this already. I'm not even like through the tour yet. I've enjoyed this more and I paid half the price. <laughs> I think whatever that plane is, man. Also, see the, the White Mountains are right behind there. That's crazy. It's also about like there's such a hot place and there's like ice mountains like not far off. I mean, they look like war planes they're doing the dude driver said they were preparing for a grand prix here i don't know what what i think it's maybe it's nascar it's not f1 for sure <laughs> but let's call batman let's, uh, let's call him for help i don't know if this works but uh yeah Your steps start shaking when you climb what's annoying these things every time they start shaking when you go up them it's it's a little bit too scary to be honest uh there's another ship Wow. Uh, is this? <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool. Like, really cool. Unreal. Unreal. They've made calls from here, right? Unreal, calling for help or whatever. to the turret. One of the turrets anyway, I saw the other one on the other side. Imagine the noise that would make. Rip the alarm over the ship. What are these for? Are these also weapons or are they... For some reason I think they're flares. I don't think... I don't, maybe they are. I think it's fairly tall. Fairly damn tall. I don't think we can go any higher than this actually. But uh... Yeah, we've gone pretty damn high. We've gone up a few levels. And now, I mean, the next stairs are backwards, down, downstairs, but I'll show you what I mean. I did backward steps in the Egypt pyramids, but those were not as steep as this one, but also, also those were a lot longer than this, so that should be all right. What does this do? I wonder. Just gone down two flights of stairs, and we're up here. What for these things? Some sort of tanks, I'm assuming. What do these things fire? They'd be pointing at something. What that is? It looks sus. It looks like they contain missiles. It's definitely like a torpedo container or something.
Right, well, we're not going up there or up there. But we are going down here. <laughs> well, give him, some, give him a few more minutes. Uh, but it's 30 I assume this is where the regular soldiers slept, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the less ranked ones. I mean, you're sleeping here in a war zone. He'd be out there for months, that's crazy. Years actually, <laughs> not just months. That's crazy, man. they stocked up and if they ran out like who brings them food I'm just curious especially in World War II time where it was a bit harder to uh, ask for that sort of help you know what I just realized it doesn't feel like we're on a boat like at all like I, and I know I know we're docked but still like you, you can still feel the water you know can't feel it here at all. I wonder if it's because it's a warship or just because of the, the river's way too calm. I don't know. I, just, I was just curious by that. Because like, even if a ship is still, you can still feel it's on water. You can't feel anything. It's like you're in a building here. Came at a good time. There's like a family in front of me, but they're like further ahead. And there's no one catching up to me. <laughs> so I got the whole route to myself apart from any possible uh, guides to uh, answer questions. I'm sure, I'm sure that's a prop. I don't think that they put real bread out there. I thought that was Arsene Wenger. He <laughs> looks like a younger version of him. Wow. Just like from a war movie, actually. I'm sure this room was different during wartime. Different ship, USS Missouri. Really? Imagine me to fan take that on a plane home. Yeah, no, <laughs> no thank you. How would I explain that one then? They just sell any kind of toy, huh? My word. I mean, it's pretty cool to be fair, but I'm only looking for a key ring. This looks amazing. Boy, it's $44. I'll pass on it. That looks amazing. Yeah, that's perfect. $10. Chocolate ammo. Wow. And army flavored Hershey's. Navy, sorry. So, Apparently about to fire two guns, two weapons. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a better view of this, but apparently it's from this side. It's the game I'm in the play. I assume they're firing from there, there's a guy in there. Guy there. Judging by the angle of the drone, it's got to be those guns. Yeah. <laughs> 
that scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit. I, I should have recorded it selfie mode. I, I I jumped. My heart my, my heart jumped. That's unreal. Oh, enough of that. We're off the ship. We're gonna go find an easier place to get an Uber from because the traffic into here, into this car park is crazy. Um, but this vlog is over. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a neighborhood from GTA. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll see you later. That was a fail. <laughs>